Sharpen. Masters of Surgical Education. Drawing the brachial plexus is relatively simple. The first thing we need to do is label the roots on the left side from C5 to T1. And then we label the other axis, which are the roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches. We then insert a Y from C5 and C6, and a second Y from C8 and T1, and an inverted Y from C7. We then draw two chevrons, one at the level of the divisions and one at the level of the branches. We then cross one of the chevrons at the level of the division, and that is the main basic structure of your brachial plexus. We now label the terminal branches, which are the muscular cutaneous nerve, the median nerves, ulnar nerves, auxiliary nerve, and radial nerve. Then start to add in the more proximal branches. So the first one coming from C5, C6, and C7, which is the long thoracic nerve. Then you have a branch coming off the roots of C5, which is the dorsal scapular nerve. You then have two branches coming off the upper trunk, which is the subclavius and the suprascapular nerve. And that's it for your proximal branches. We then need to label the cords and the branches coming off the cords. So we do this color coded. So red for lateral cord, green for posterior cord, and blue for the medial cord. Now the lateral cord gives rise to the lateral pectoral nerve and the musculocutaneous nerve, as well as the lateral head of the median nerve. That's why the median nerve is in two different colors. The posterior cord gives you the thoracodorsal nerve and the upper and lower subscapular nerves, as well as the axillary nerve and the radial nerve, as we mentioned before. The medial cord gives you the medial pectoral nerve, as well as the two sensory nerves, one going to the arm and one going to the forearm, the medial antibrachial cutaneous nerve and the medial brachial cutaneous nerve, as well as the ulnar nerve, and also the medial head of the median nerve. Now, the mnemonics I use to remember these for the roots, trunks, divisions, cords, and branches is remember to drink cold beer. And then I label the trunks, upper, middle, and lower. Then for the posterior cord, I use the mnemonic ULTRA, which is upper subscapular, lower subscapular, thoracodorsal, radial, and axillary. So those are the branches of the posterior cord. For the lateral cord, which is labeled in red, it's LLM, which is lateral pectoral, lateral head of median nerve, and musculocutaneous nerve. For the medial cord, it's MUM, so all the medials, so medial pectoral nerve, medial brachial cutaneous, medial antibrachial, the ulnar nerve, as well as the medial head of the median nerve. And that's an easy way to draw and label the branches of the brachial plexus. I'm Samuel George, consultant, plastic hand and peripheral nerve surgeon. Sharpen, Masters of Surgical Education.